morning, Buck Nutters. It's Monday, June 30th, 2014. This is Dan Rubin. You may have been expecting to hear the dulcet tones of Dave Biddle. Fortunately for Dave, unfortunately for the rest, Dave is on a vacation. I will have complete control over the Buck Nuts Morning Five for the next two weeks. I'm not sure if that's good news or not. I tell you what, there was some good news over the weekend. And that has caused us to kind of scrap the format we usually use for the BM5 and spend the whole day today talking to 24-7 Sports Director of Recruiting, Steve Wolfong. After yesterday, when it, we learned, thanks to Steve, that Jashan Cornell, a standout defensive lineman out of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Paul area, will make his decision on July 2nd at the exact same time as Justin Hilliard, the standout linebacker out of St. X in Ohio, that Ohio State has, per, has been pursuing. First of all, Steve, welcome to the show. And can you just kind of bring us up to speed on where we are now with these two five stars possibly making an announcement at the same time? Well, I still haven't changed my crystal ball from June 1st when I put one in for the Buckeyes for both Jay Sean Cornell and Justin Hilliard. And Jay Sean Cornell was coming off a fantastic visit to Ohio State, and uh, that's kind of when Ohio State took control for Jay Sean. And I feel really good about where Ohio State stands with him heading into his Wednesday decision now. And, and Justin Hilliard, the nation's top-ranked outside linebacker, according to 24-7 Sports, the five-star from Cincinnati, St. Xavier. Uh, I, I haven't heard anything to make me change my mind that Ohio State is the pick. I do think that that one is close. Uh, I do think that when Justin chooses Ohio State, or if he chooses Ohio State, uh, it, it was certainly a tough decision for him. He could very well see himself at Notre Dame. And and Iowa really did a fantastic job of recruiting Justin Hilliard. And obviously Kirk Ferentz and that coaching staff has has earned the trust of of the Hilliard family, having the older brother being sent there, Uh, the mom, the dad. They know that coaching staff really well. Justin's been around that staff for so long. So I do think it's it's been a tough decision. And as of Sunday, you know, I'm not even sure if Justin had made a final decision, but it looks really, really close. It looks really, really good for Ohio State and, uh, to, to land two five stars on Wednesday, a package deal, a deal that normally doesn't happen. You know, you see kids talk about, talk all the time about wanting to play together in college. Uh, Jay, Sean, and Justin have talked about it for two years and now. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that Jay Sean has moved his announcement up to the same day as Justin Hilliard's, and, and right now I expect them both to be Buckeyes. But, uh, you know, uh, I hate to always put the disclaimer out there, but you have to when, when you're talking about recruiting and, and things can always change on the fly. But as of Monday morning, uh, you know, I feel good about my Ohio State crystal balls for both of them. And you're not alone in that. If you check Crystal Ball and 24-7 Sports right now, there's been a run on Justin Hilliard and Deshaun Cornell picks to Ohio State. There was already great momentum for them, but since Steve's story from yesterday, it's obviously caught like wildfire. Okay, disclaimer, let's embrace that a little bit. Is it fair to say that the only school who's really in the mix here to knock Ohio State off its perch for getting the both of them is Notre Dame? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, because that, that's, that's what it was really down to for Justin, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I do think that Iowa gave excellent effort, really, for both of them, for, for Jay Sean Cornell as well. But uh, Notre Dame got Justin Hilliard on campus so many times. Uh, Notre Dame has been recruiting Jay Sean longer than any other school. So that, that would be the, the serious threat. But uh, I feel good about Ohio State this morning. And, uh, you know, felt even better about Ohio State for Hilliard when Jay Sean decided he was going to pull the trigger the same day. Uh, you know, again, anything can happen in recruiting, but it'd be a little surprising if they picked a different school on Wednesday. Okay, this is the next question you're going to get if you haven't gotten it already, and I'm sure I'm sure you have. Jay Sean Cornell and Justin Hilliard have talked a lot about playing together in college. There's another member of that group that's been at some of the camps with them, another five-star prospect. Damian Harris, a running back out of Berea, Kentucky. I think a lot of people think he is the third, the third amigo, as it were, the third musketeer. Do you see that as as likely or more likely now? Should Hilliard and Cornell commit to Ohio State? And if so, is there a timeline for that that you know? Of? Well, you know, when I put in when I put in my crystal ball for Damian Harris, and I'm not exactly sure what day that was, but it wasn't too long ago. 
I was more confident he was going to be a Buckeye than the other two guys we're talking about. And I still feel uh-huh. really, I still feel really, really good about where Ohio State stands for Damian Harris. And I would have felt really good where Ohio State stood with Damian Harris if, if the Buckeyes missed on both Justin Hilliard and, and Jay Sean Cornell. Uh, when, when Damian reopened the recruiting process, Ohio State was the ideal crystal ball pick. I just didn't make one until I had good sources that told me that Ohio State was indeed the team to pick instead of just reading the tea leaves. So I could have read the tea leaves and switched uh, Damian Harris to Ohio State right after he, he decommitted for Michigan. But, you know, when I made when I made my pick for Damian Harris to Ohio State, that was based on information I was from people uh, with knowledge of the situation telling me that Ohio State was the clear team to beat. Now, Damian has visited Kentucky two times since that crystal ball prediction, and I do think that, you know, the Kentucky coaching staff has done a nice job recruiting Damian and, and uh, being the in-state kid. I think that Kentucky has made an impression, but I'm not sure it's been enough to make a move on Ohio State. So I continue to like Ohio State until I hear differently. The, the, the question is, when does Damian pull the trigger? Does he pull the trigger in July? Does he pull the trigger during the fall? Does he pull the trigger in January? Uh, at, at this point, whether it's any of those three, I still feel really good about Ohio State. This was one of those Bucknuts morning fives that I think is going to make everybody's start to the week a pleasant one. Great news over the weekend. Things are looking great for Ohio State. It's been a great run on recruits recently. It looks like it might get better. We appreciate Steve joining us for the show today. Coming up in a little bit, we're going to have a roundtable, more recruiting chatter, this time with Dwayne Long and Bill Kerlick sitting in, a little more extended version. If you check what I am hearing, which Bill has up on the site now, there's some very interesting news on Josh Sweat. And, of course, we'll have the boarding house around noon. Once again, we thank Steve Wolfong for joining us. Have a great day, Buckmetters.